everyone! 안녕하세요! Welcome back! Friendly Kazuma here! So today's menu is Sanjok, which is a Korean kebab, Korean traditional skewer. So stay tuned! Making Sanjok, the Korean traditional skewer, what you need to prepare, you can have some imitation crab soup radish, which is tammuzu we call, ham or the sausage, scallion, braised bulldog, egg, cooking oil, and Korean pancake mix. Either, if you don't have it, then just prepare the normal flour that is just good enough. And the most important thing is, this is curious. Let's cut the ingredients first. I have some ham. This is for kimbap purpose. Kimbap is the Korean rice rock, right? So if you are the Muslim, so if you cannot eat pork, then you can just prepare chicken, sausage, whatever. So the point is, actually, when you make sanjeok, you need to have all the ingredients the same length. So ham, the scallion, even the sweet radish, and also the imitation crab. You can see the length is almost the same. How long or how short is not so that important, but still, you can just prepare all the ingredients with the same length. So let's just start with ham. I'll cut in half first and divide it into three. And the sweet radish, you can just cut it down. Divide it into two. So you can cut it in this way. So you can cut it by yourself or if it's just too hassle just to do it, then buy the one for kimbap purpose. It's already cut ones. Then the imitation crab, remove the plastic cover first. When making sanjeok, the color is just so important. So for the imitation crab, as you can see, one side is red and the other side is white. So I want to have red color on both sides. Chopping is all done, all the ingredients are ready to use. So let's just skewer. I'm going to start with the ham. So radish, scallions, actually you can use two, so one goes on to this side, the other one goes the other side, like this. Imitation crab, lastly, braised baldock. How does the color look? I think it's pretty good. With this skewer, I'll just put it in. So on the other side, we'll put another skewer just to secure. Then you can cut the end. If you don't like to finish cooking more quickly, actually when you're in rush, how you can do, I'm going to show you the trick. We have one set here already, then make another one. So the ham, sweet radish, green onions, imitation crab, braised butter. Skewer it again. Push this one. And make some space. Same thing on the other side. Push. So keep a distance, do not put those two sets together. So like what we are doing, we are doing social distancing during this pandemic era, isn't it? Right, so then again cut the end. So try to fix the same length like this and same onto the other side too. So two sets are ready. I even made a skewer without imitation crack because it ran out of. So what I want to just tell you is there's no such a rule. You can just add any ingredients, whatever you like. So it can be even zucchini, cucumber, carrot, radish, whatever that is. But I do like to remind that carrot or radish, those kind of like a hard texture, vegetables, it might be broken when you try to put the skewer in it, right? So anyways, now we will cook those skewers with the flour. I'm going to just use the Korean pancake mix because I have it but if you don't have it then just use the normal wheat flour and add a pinch of salt. Okay let's have a little bit of that. So this should be enough. Put those ones. 
You can sprinkle. Then gently shake it off. The reason that we need to do this is because later we're gonna just coat these wines with the eggs again. So then the flour will help to just coat with the eggs very well. Next step, let's break the eggs. You can add a pinch of salt, just a small amount. Let's just go to mix. So then, we're gonna cut the skewer with the eggs. At the same time, you can turn the burner on and preheat it. So preheat it and you can put some oil. Then let's put the skewer. You can put some eggs, like a pot on, green onion, pink cake. So just make them stick together. We can turn this over. At the same time, we can prepare the next one because it doesn't really take a long time to cook. Put those ones with the egg. Wait, this one, I guess it's ready. Done! I have a single set of skewer. Actually, how my mom does, so a half size of this, she makes every two skewers. is also ready. Korean traditional skewer, sanjak is ready. So it looks nice though, right? Normally for Korean people, we don't really put the braised bulgur when we make sanjak. But I personally want to add it because when I eat it without it, then I feel like something is missing. So then, braised bulldog we season with the soy sauce and rice syrup, so it's so yummy. So you can add some more flavor of it, so it's very nice. There are a few different ways to cut it, so you can just cut it in half. The skewer can be shown, so it can be removed when eating. Another way is, you can remove the skewer first. Still, you can see it still get stuck together, equally divided into three. So this is right size to serve. In my case, I want to chew all the ingredients at once. I cut into a small pieces. Like this. Mm -hmm. Nice job. For Korean people, we make this food for 설날 or 추석. 설날 is like a New Year's Day and 추석 is like a Korean Thanksgiving. So for the big party, we always make this even for the big birthday party. So I hope that you enjoyed my cooking video today and if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and press the like button for me. So I hope to see you on my next video. So thank you and 또 만나요!